this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how to use the TRIPS tied in offensive scheme to be able to help you beat cover three consistently in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name's Cody and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And so if you've never been to the channel before, I wanna encourage you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. That is a completely free button to hit. And all it does is it allows you to stay up to date whenever we release new videos that can help you become a better Madden player. And so again, it's completely free to subscribe. Uh, as, long as, as long as you hit it, you'll know whenever we release new videos. Now, today we're talking about the trips tied in. And I actually have a full ebook on the trips tied in, specifically um, out of the New England Patriots playbook. We've actually covered the whole playbook out of New England. It's a very, very in depth offense. And so, if you want to get that full ebook, it goes over trips tied in, gun bunch, U trips, as well as several other formations. I think we cover over 25 formations with over 400 pages in it. Um, if you want to get that ebook, it's in the description of this video. But for right now, I want to dive right into Trips Tight End. This is my favorite uh, cover three beer from the Trips Tight End. And what we want to do is we want to make sure that we have our best wide receiver uh, in this first slot position right here. So you see, for the Packers, we're going to sub in. Uh, we're going to sub in Devontae Adams into that position. And then the play that we're going to be going over today is we're actually going to be uh, going over the play uh, curl flat, which you can see right here. And on defense, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to basically uh, shift my coaching adjustment to the kind of a standard uh, cover three style of coaching adjustment right here. And then all we're going to do is I'm going to come out and see some, some cover three maple. Let me grab some a little bit subpar linemen to give myself a little bit more time to throw. Um, but basically what we're going to do, the setup is actually really, really simple. Uh, all we're going to do is we're simply going to streak the X receiver and then we're going to smart route the circle receiver. As you can see right here, this is literally the setup. This setup right here is absolutely incredible. I cannot stress to you how powerful this play is. It's truly, in my opinion, one of the best plays in the game. And what you'll see is that this running back route is wide open. That running back route is the hardest route to defend in the game, in my opinion. Um, it's definitely the hardest route to defend in trips tight end uh, just because of how consistent it really truly is. So, and you'll see here, I mean, it's literally a layup. As long as they're not blitzing anybody to where the point that he blocks, if you just kind of sit in the pocket, you're going to have so much time to hit this route to the running back, as you can see right there. Now, a couple things that you can do if you wanted to, to give yourself a little bit more um, opportun opportunity if the play breaks down. So let me show you right here. This is something that I like to do. This is something that gives me a lot, a lot of options um, as far as as far as whenever the defense, you know, the defense is starting to do some adjustments and things like that. So what I like to do is if I take the triangle receiver, I'm going to put him on a fade route. The square receiver, I'm going to put him on a little five yard out route. And what you're going to see is it's still going to pull all the zones, but it's going to give me a lot more room now to be able to work with that running back. Now that I have more room opened up because I've run some clear out routes on that side, it makes that route that much more unstoppable. And so you're able to really kind of depend or rely on this running back route because you have so, you've opened up so much space to be able to throw this. Now we're gonna to get to that circle route here in just a moment, but as you can see right there, and again, I don't know why we're, you know, I don't know why screen or uh, TV spies are picking that off. That should never happen, but if I just stay in the pocket right there, that would have been fine. Uh, let me show you this one more time. And again, I'm just gonna pass commit, and then you'll see right here, this running back, you know, again, you're just sitting in the pocket, just chilling, and as you can see right there, absolutely wide open. So what's gonna happen is they're gonna have the user, the running back route. The beauty of this play is that, again, what you're gonna be able to accomplish um, is you're going to be able to simply have an opportunity to where you know they're having to choose do I guard one guy or the other guy? So we're gonna say, okay, we're gonna guard the youth, we're gonna guard the running back. Well, what's gonna happen now is if you take a look at this, you're gonna have a pretty darn good opportunity to hit that circle receiver over the top. As you see that little post route, whenever you smart route it, it does a really, really, really good job 
at getting over the 25 yard cloud flats. And it really doesn't matter, you know, whether it's 20, 30, 40, 50. I mean, it's, you know, it's one of the better routes in the game for these cover three style of coverages. The, the streak does such a good job. I would tell you to at least look at the streak. Um, you'll see here that you can sometimes hit that as an inside pass lead. It all depends on where their user goes. If their user jumps up at the streak, then more than likely you're not gonna be able to hit it. But if the user doesn't jump up the streak, then you're gonna have an opportunity to be able to, to, uh, to hit it. Now, uh, real quick here, if I wanted to, again, leave this, this opportunity for spacing on this backside, if you take a look at this triangle guy, you see he's pulling the zones really, really nicely. And again, that little quarterback spy, that's gonna be their user. He's probably gonna be all the way to this side of the field. He's probably not gonna be in that position. So instead of spying him, what I'm gonna simply do is just man him up on somebody uh, just to kind of help a little bit with the randomness of this right here. But if you watch again, that circle receiver, as long as I just sit in the pocket, buy some time, you see he does such a good job of getting over that cover three. Now, you might be sitting there saying, well, what if they blitz me, okay? What if they blitz me out of cover three? Like, what if they blitz me and they, and they just, you know, basically play hard flats on the outside? What am I going to do then? Well, that's where this play and this offense really does a good job, is you'll see that this there's a lot of space over the middle of the field for you to be able to attack. So you're not only going to be able to have the sidelines late in this, but you're also going to be able to have the middle of the field. It's one of the reasons why I believe crossing routes are so effective. Um, another thing you're going to be able to have is you're going to be able to have this route to uh, this curl route right there. I did a terrible job of pass leading it. I literally passed it right to the guy. What you want to be doing is you just simply want to be throwing the ball with a pass lead inside. I'll show you what I'm talking about right here. Pass lead inside. That's more of what we're looking for. As you can see, he does a really good job of getting open against that defense. So again, you're going to have a lot of opportunity. Now, let's say you're running that other route combination and they catch you off guard a little bit. Um, so you see here, I'm going to blitz six. Offensively, technically, I'm going to be blocking six because that running back will stay in. What you're going to notice is this circle receiver is going to get open super, super quick. And as you can see, it's a nice little easy read. So this play is probably the best cover three beater in Madden 21 right now. So if you haven't start, haven't been using this and you run trips set in, I would start using this right now. It's truly one of my favorite passing concepts. There's so many things that you can do from this concept. This is just one. This is just the tip of the iceberg. And if you want to learn more about trips tight end, if you want to learn my complete trips tight end offensive ebook, there's a link to it in the description. It's the New England Patriots Guide, and we literally walk you through step by step how to run not only the trips tight end, but every formation in the New England book, including U trips, spread, bunch, and I believe a slot offset and split close, as well as several other formations. So if you want to get that full offensive scheme, that link is in the description. Thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, 